welcome guys to the recording. Uh, if you have questions, please let us know in the Facebook group, just post because I'm happy to answer them even if you're not here live. Uh, so the Red Circle Lady Business on Facebook. Welcome to Your Business, Your Flow, the webinar. One of my absolute hands down favorite things to do is present this webinar. It's it's my fave. So we're going to have fun. I love teaching these. We call them master classes in the dance industry where I grew up. I love doing these things because I love getting into people's businesses. I am a community coach for a gentleman uh, named Ryan Eliason here in the States, who is a multi million dollar business coach. And I've, I've been one of his coaches for a long time. And I get to dive into about a thousand people a year's business and get my hands hands on their stuff. And I love doing it. It's my nerd time. So I really enjoy doing the business nerdy stuff. And then of course, I love talking taboos and periods. So I love this one because we get to nerd out on two of my favorite subjects. Today, we're going to talk about obviously your business and your flow. I'm going to show you some case studies today so that you can see how these things apply from somebody just starting a business to someone making six, maybe seven figures now, as well as completely completely non-business related, just so you can see a, a wide gamut of how things, things work. The taboo around periods is a big part of the problem that we have in really being able to embrace the power that we have as women. The taboo as a, just for a brief refresher course, I credit the reason that women are in a competition state and not in a collaboration state because, you know, we evolved as women. Our stress response was not fight or flight. That's the male stress response. And I want you to know that in that study, they actually had women who didn't respond the same way as men. And they literally said, well, women are hormonal. It's hard to tell. We'll just consider them out of the normal, but we'll just keep them in there. Wrote the women off and didn't think that maybe they had a different stress response. Just for like, menstruating women are hard. Women actually have a different stress response from men. We have tend or befriend because as we were evolving and we were living in communities and tribes and villages, when the invading horror was attacking the village, we were the kids in a heap in the middle and circled arms and defended them. There's also evidence that women took the children out and waded out into water where animals couldn't get to them. They base that off the fact that women have fatty tissue around their hips and thighs because they assume that was part of our evolutionary protection when we were escaping into water to protect ourselves. The women tended and befriended. We knew our power was in numbers and we knew we needed to connect, to collaborate in order to be the best productive, empowered, positive survival self. As the patriarchy rose, one of the things that it really did well was end that trust, that sacred circle. In the 1400s, there was a book called the Malleus Maleficarum, published. Uh, it was written by two Dominican monks. And it translates to witch hammer. And it was literally a book with pictures on how to torture women. It really is a handbook on how to torture somebody. And in it, it says if the woman survives the torture to lock her up for a year and a day, to visit her on high holy days and do a special intense torture and to keep her alive, but barely so that you really know that she's been tortured within an inch of her life. This went on for about 200 years and a about 9 million women were murdered. It's the estimate over this time period. And imagine living multiple generations, knowing that if you talk to another woman, you are going to be accused of having a coven circle and potentially tortured for a very long time to death. We stopped talking to each other. It was the only way to stay safe. It was the only way to protect your sister was to not talk to your sister. The only way to protect your best friend was to no longer be friends. The only way to protect yourself was to be in complete isolation. And it made us fully dependent on the men. It made us completely isolated. It made us fearful. It made us competitive. It made us mean. And our ancient DNA of the stress response, tend and befriend, fighting this overlaid genetic knowledge of if we collaborate or if we bind together, then we will be tortured. And, and we are in this inner conflict as women and even know it. And this is part of why I believe wholeheartedly that ending this taboo, talking to other women about this very 
basic thing will help that connection grow from a space that's not just a superficial hobbies that we have in common or ideas that we have in common, or we both like to go to the beach or whatever, but really this unity of all women that transcends every barrier between us. And even if you're menopausal or had a hysterectomy or whatever it is, we still have this common bond of that womb space, the creative life-giving spirit that women have. And no matter where we are on the journey as women, we have this gathering. You know, we used to look at the the women who had moved through the wise woman gate as our leaders, as the women that we really wanted to learn and know from. So we used to revere and invite that into the circle. So the taboo, I believe, is really causing a lot of damage for women. And I, and I really do wholeheartedly believe that these are important conversations to have and knowledge to have because it can transform the world in a way that nothing else possibly can. I started off this journey in high school as a woman who had horrific periods. I went through high school taking birth control and narcotics to no avail because the mood swings never stopped, even though I was on birth control and I was supposed to stop them. The narcotics were supposed to stop the pain and it didn't do that either. So I was on a lot of really heavy drugs. None of them worked. Actually, some of them were experimental and have been recalled because they caused death. Aside from that, um, I'm alive. Yay. And they didn't work. So all of that for nothing. As I went through my dance career, I went to college for dance. I lost insurance because this was before Obama and I didn't have the option of trying any more medicines. Uh, I gave up on Western medicine, which turned out to be the best thing I could have done. I went through my dance career, started running restaurants, moved out to California, started teaching Pilates and ballet bar and yoga, but it was still having really bad periods. And it was hard to have my income dependent on being in peak physical form. I mean, you can't run a restaurant by sitting down and you can't teach classes like that. I had to be in this very peak physical form and I still couldn't get my periods to be a manageable space. So I decided that maybe it would be better for me to figure out a career that didn't involve so much six pack abs and more actual sitting. <laughs> I went to the Institute for Integrative Nutrition, got my uh, holistic health coaching certification, took a lot of what I thought was really the best of a lot of different food theories and took that with years and years and decades of hormonal balance research that I had done trying to fix my own period and overlaid them together, mush them together and created this way of eating that was fully supportive for the female hormonal system. This is what is now known as my FPMS course, We Eat With Our Cycles. And it's a lot of fun to do. It's a great community. It's like hashtag food porn all the time and it's delicious. And we have a good time in there. And it's great because it's very empowering. It gives you a lot of uh, space to create, to get your kitchen witch hat on, to take back that idea of healing yourself through that energy. Of, of love and food and it reframes that whole thing in your mind and it worked and I had my first pain period period of my life when I did it the first time and I still do it two three times a year and it still works and I still love it and I still do it a couple of times a year no matter what and I do it with the group we do a live round every now and then just for fun after I went to IIN I started working with clients I started my own restaurant and then I was teaching teachers so I was doing the fitness training teaching teachers how hiring, kind of running a studio and starting my own business, starting to coach female athletes. And the one thing they all had in common was problem periods, as did I. It turned out that as I started running my own business, I started to burn out and I ended up having my life look a little bit like this. Totally shitty period, high school, college, and thus figuring out the happy diet change, happy me, happy period, started my own business. Oh my God, went right back to having a shitty period. And then I figured out if I pulled this all together, I knew the food, I knew how to live with hormonal balance in mind. If I just started running my business with this in mind too, everything could be easier. So rather than continuing to run my business from this very masculine push, 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 minute by minute schedule, looking at things, going every day at 9 a.m. I'm going to do this. And then every Tuesday at noon, I'm going to have these things done. And instead of doing it from that, I started looking at my business from this much bigger 
perspective, a, a multi-yearly, a yearly, a quarterly, and monthly, and then in it, starting to rearrange how things happened. And that simple shift of looking at things from the bigger picture, which as women, we are super good at looking at the big picture. We really see how things connect. That made all of the difference. And this whole masterclass, it's going to be a lot of shifting perspectives. So shift with me. Figuring out how this all works together is actually what brought me to your business, your flow. I started doing this with my clients. I started seeing clients with just period hormonal imbalance issues, but they all had their own businesses. And we, when we started running all of our businesses with flow and it was transformative, marriages became happier, businesses ran easier, employees stopped needing to be fired all of the time. It was crazy. The changes that happened. I was actually stunned by how massive the changes could be after a year of doing this work with people one-on-one. If you can dream it, if you can think it, it's totally possible. And why did you go into business for yourself? Why did you do this? It wasn't so that you could work more. It wasn't so that you could be tied to a desk 80 hours a week instead of the 40. It's benefits in another job. It's because you wanted to have an actual control and freedom to your life. And this is the beauty of the running it with flow. Take a step back. Think about now is the time to take your business to the next level. Now is the time to start making more money, whether you're just getting your business off the ground or you're in the second and figure lane. It doesn't matter. It works across the board. No matter where you are, when women are in flow, the world is a better place, right? No matter what your obstacle, flow is your answer. And I want you to just think for a second, what would it be like if you and your friends were the 1%? What would the world look like if you ladies were actually the ones in charge of the money flow? probably wouldn't be a 1%. That's like the first thing that comes to my head is the 1% wouldn't exist anymore. I know I'd have a mentoring program. I'd have women working with teens for free around the world. I'd have startup capital for women's businesses that I would just dole out. There wouldn't be a 1%. And I know that as heart-centered and amazing women, you are 100% thinking the same thoughts. So making more money doesn't change you. It just makes you more of who you are. If we were the ones running the world, we'd probably have taken care of the bullying problems of the world, the starvation, the hunger, the warfare. I suspect that if we were in charge and we were running the money flow, things would be a lot better. Instead of holding ourselves back tomorrow, next time, I'll do it next time. I'll think about this tomorrow. I'll try this later. I'm not ready. I'm not there. I'm not whatever it is. Just start, dive in boldly and bravely because we can't wait forever. We need you here today and now. Not burning out like a dude, really embracing what makes you so very powerful your period starting now. I love this quote. One of my absolute favorites. It's actually the background on my computer. The goal is to make the world a better place. And if we women were using this power, this period power that we have getting into this connection, we could heal ourselves, our friends, grow our businesses, reach more people. The whole world would be a way better place. Climate change wouldn't even be a thing anymore. So stop dreaming start doing in flow. Here's a question that I ask commonly and often. Have you ever wondered why you're really good at things sometimes, but suck at the same thing at other times? One of my favorite examples is writing. And there are days that you're like jamming out and you can't even type as fast as you're thinking. And there's other days that you're staring at a blank page going, words, I know words. I have them somewhere hold on. And it's simply because the hormonal balance in our bodies changes what we're good at and when we're good at them. doesn't mean it makes us weaker. It just means that we have PowerPoints and we should be embracing them and capitalizing on them, optimizing our business literally with flow. We have four parts of the cycle, follicular, ovulatory, the menstrual, and the luteal. Each of those four phases are distinctly impressive. And you're in one of those phases right now. Every day you're in, in one phase. So you're in one of those phases right now, which means you have a superpower, your Wonder Woman strength. You just don't know exactly what it is. My question is, what would it feel like to watch your income grow while you're relaxing? Because you've optimized your business to have town time for you, but it's still working. What would it feel like to skip the burnout? What would it feel like to skip the leveling up colds, the overwhelm, the inaction that comes from overwhelm? It probably 
probably feel pretty amazing. And I want you to know it's not an impossible dream. It's not for when you're more successful. It's not for other people. It's not for when. It's for right now. Boom. You're about to discover how Josia moved her whole house in flow, how Tash uses my system for her six-figure business, how Natalie uses my system for her clients, and a few other case studies. And I promise by the end of this chat, you'll see just how much power there is in your period. Your period is a repeatable cycle. It happens every month. And what I'm going to guide you through today can be done every month. You can do this over and over and over again every month. If you never, ever see me ever again, you can still do this every month without me. (laughs) All right. So the question is, how are they doing it? How are these ladies applying this principle to their lives, right? We want to see it in action. We want to know it works before we spend time actually learning it. How does it work? They're using the sensual system. You are a sensual system. You have an amazing body full of senses and all of them are there helping us get more into balance or out of balance. You are a sensual system. Use that to your advantage. Discover the best way to work for you. There are definitely things that we can say are overarching themes, but there's always something specific for you. I see this in YBYF every time somebody who has just this amazing, unique twist and it works best for them this way. The power of charting it's the power of community. It's the power of having somebody there to help you see. It's hard to see the forest through the trees, as they say. You can balance your hormones, your work, and your life. We've talked about this before, how when you start to balance your business, your hormones start to get more in balance. And as your hormones start to get more in balance, your business starts to get more in balance. And then everything follows through. It's that amazing cycle. And we know that it's like the junk food spiral. When we start eating crap, we want to eat some more crap. And then we're like, I'm just sitting there with a pint of ice cream stuff in my face and dipping chips and eating ice cream with my chips. That's mine. (laughs) That's my power. Chip scoops. So we know those cycles, right? The opposite is true though as well. There's the upward cycle. The more you get into balance, the more hormones balance, business balances, la, 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 la. So you can live while you grow your business. You can balance everything out while you're growing your business. That's the key is to learn how to balance and grow at the same time. That's how we avoid the up-leveling issues, the colds, the nonsense. So we'll skip the burnout phase and we'll just become that woman that has our shit together. Easy, right? Let's just do that. (laughs) I truly believe tapping into your flow equals freedom. I see it over and over again. It is a beautiful way of living life. And it really is that freedom. The reason we all got into this whole doing our own business thing. It's that freedom. And that this is where it is, tapping into the flow. Why choose my system over a traditional model? Two-pronged approach. One is we take the business models that work like Elon Musk, the man behind Tesla and SpaceX, and he's making a new brain mapping crazy thing that I've been reading up on. I'm completely obsessed. Uh, Natasha Corbin's funnel system. She's one of our bonuses for YBYF. Six-figure, if not now, seven-figure coach. So we're looking at proven models that work, but we're letting my system take over. So we're looking at these actual proven models and then we're taking my system, your actual creation process, the year to year, the quarter by quarter, month by month, day to day is rooted in science systems that work and we're basing them on you. We're taking the masculine part out and we're putting the feminine in in its place. It's not saying we're eliminating the masculine. We're just putting it where it belongs and we're adding the feminine in where it belongs. So you're a heart-centered business owner, right? You want to make a better planet. You want a kinder world. You want to make more money. Maybe you want to make more than enough. Maybe you don't want to be a gazillionaire. Maybe you do. I mean, let's be honest. Maybe you do. I kind of do. I think I think of like all that I could do with a gazillion dollars. And I really am like, I want to make a gazillion dollars. Be honest with yourself right here. But we want to have that consistent growth and we want it to feel good. We don't want it to feel overwhelming, like we've lost our lives, that we can't do that amazing stuff that we want to do with the gazillion dollars because we have to make the gazillion dollars, right? We want to be able to do what we want with that money. And we want to make that money so that we can do more good. That means putting the masculine in its place and allowing the feminine to thrive, to bloom and blossom. And one of the things that we do a lot of talking about in your business, your flow is deprogramming that do push must be constantly working, striving, going forward and resisting that urge and that guilt and that stress and that overwhelm. And instead tapping into our flow and seeing what we really should be doing, what's really best for our business, for ourselves. Uh, I like to say it's the sperm way of doing things, pushing up stream or the egg way of doing things, letting it come to you. That's the difference between burnout and brilliance. Embracing the eggy, 
sitting back and letting what you have put out there come back to you. You need that time to rest, recuperate, see. And when you separate the body from the mind, you hit failure. So allowing the feminine in, tapping into the body, this is where success really lives. How do we apply the central system to business, to life, to these things that you want? The case studies. So this is Laura Maria Hornsby, who has done YBYF twice with me because she's delightful. <laughs> and she's just amazing with that Southern accent. And she's just so fun. <laughs> I love it when she's on calls. So she started off in a really horrific space of having three week long periods, a week, 82 off, and then three weeks back on. So she felt like she was never making any progress. She wanted to start a business, but she really had no idea how to even get started. Even though she knew how to get started, she had no idea how to get started within the context of this three weeks of bleeding, one week of not. We took her obvious on hormonal balance, fixed that and started building the basic structure of her business, which is why she did it again. Because at that point we'd gotten through the crappy period part and we've gotten her business foundation set. So then she came and did YBYF again with us and really workshopped the next stages of her business, really got to see her flow in action. She is an amazing story of just how bad it can be and how good it can get. Joanna Lee, who is a lovely Aussie, had kind of a similar story, except hers were mood swings. She had really horrific shifts in energy, really went to the dark place every month in a, in a really big way. Every month, just got into this overwhelm where she just felt like, there's no way I can do this. I'm completely unstable. I can't have a business. This is completely impossible for me. She did it with us. She stuck with it. She was probably one of the most active members uh, of YBYF. And she did it. She got her mood swings organized. She figured out what was going on. She learned what was trying to be told to her by her body. We got the hormonal imbalances dealt with and we started actually spending time instead of focusing on the crazy, the business. And it became this amazing, beautiful thing that really helped fuel the forward momentum in her business. And then we have Natalie Bach. Uh, she worked on movies. She was actually a market researcher for movies. You know why Leo won his Oscar? Because she made them change what that movie looked like. And he won that Oscar. I give it all to Natalie. She works with female clients. She works with body issues, body shame. She does the bikini beach breakthrough where women who have never worn a bikini to the beach ever go and wear a bikini on the beach for the first time. And then another friend of ours, Drea, is a photographer. Sometimes I get to be an assistant. It's fun. She works with these clients that are in a really emotional, traumatic spot. So she did YBYF for herself because of her adrenal fatigue and she wanted to grow her business even in the space. But she started using it for her clients like immediately. Every time we would learn something, she'd take it back. She'd talk to her clients. Clients, and she does it to this day. Sometimes she'll call me when she has a client that's going through something and she'll be like, she's in the follicular phase. Like she really tunes into their stages so that she's giving them work that goes with their flow. So her clients feel more successful because they're getting what they need. She's so good now at using this for her client's best interest and her clients see quicker and better results. So we have Tash Corbin, who is an Aussie business coach. She's six figures, maybe seven now. I don't know. She just keeps keeps blowing past barriers. When she was doing YBYF, her goal was to hit 50K in one month. She's done it. Hopefully she'll be joining us again this time. She is giving us a bonus for this round. She's doing her business planning uh, bonus for us this round. And maybe she'll be doing it with us too, but she's in the middle of launching an international uh, live conference right now. We're wishing her all the best and good luck with her very first conference. She's got people flying in from all over the world for it. I just thought that you should hear this funny story of Josia who moved her house with flow. She has a little house, a little tiny home that's a cabin that literally you pick up and move the whole house when you want to move. And she planned it out with her cycle. So when they were digging out all of the lines for the house, she was in her ovulation phase. And the guys on the job were like, oh my God, you were so badass. And when she went to her little phase, she did all of the organizing and the packing and getting the breakables down and all that kind of stuff. When the house was actually being moved, she she was kicking it with her menstrual phase at her boyfriend's place, just kicked back, relaxed, enjoying. Something was getting done because she planned while she was just chilling out.
out. I threw that in there because it's so good to see that this applies to much more than just business. This is our beautiful Hall of Fame here, and I love these ladies very much. So you can see how this applies to business, to clients, to taking it a step further outside of yourself and your own business, and even into the day-to-day -day of your life. Let's talk nuts and bolts here. You may have seen this from me before. This is Elon Musk's strategy here. And this is something that we dive into in YBYF. Grab the screenshot from weightbutwhy.com because it's amazing. This is something that we're going to do a little overview here and then we're going to dive into how to use this for your period. You see the little circles that reflect an action, adjust an action, learn, keep up, adjust. These are actually the best things to do during your menstrual phase. It's an amazing strategy because during your period, your hormones shift your brain. Your left and your right hemisphere, the synapses are firing the most between these two hemispheres. So you have this really amazing ability to look at things objectively from the big picture. Back in the red tent days, this is when women would come together. They would actually talk about what the village, the tribe, what they needed to do next. And they would come back with the message for the village of what they would be doing next, where they were going next, how they would be living, solving problems. We knew even way back then that this was the perfect time for women to look at the big picture. And this is the perfect time to do that for your business, just as it was for the tribe to be the guides of the tribe. It's a great time to reassess your business, see what's working, see what's not working. And you know how during PMS, you know exactly what you don't want. <laughs> You're really good at knowing what you don't want. Using this power for good means you can start flipping that, like I said earlier, shifting the perspective, seeing what you really do want, flipping that script. Honestly, isn't that really just a better use of your time and energy and emotion? <laughs> Your brain is built, as I said, for this power. And we're going to talk about the power of your menstrual phase here, because I, I think it's one of the most powerful points for your business. And it's one of the most underestimated times for your business. And just see what worked, see what didn't work. And then do that in our business, because that's part of a business model. We go, you know, this marketing worked, this marketing didn't. But we don't think about doing it every month during this time when we're really so good and really looking at, again, at the big picture and the little stuff. I mean, yes, if you just did a launch in your next period, you should go back and look at that launch and see what worked and see what didn't work and look at the marketing and look at the numbers and look at all that stuff because you're in that great space. But you should also be connecting into your big why and looking at your business in that big perspective as well. And we want to, you know, make those adjustments as we need to. So let's dive into the menstrual phase. Remember, as a woman, changing your mind is your birthright. Using this menstrual phase to readjust course correct is absolutely your birthright. And we're going to do as much as we can here in the menstrual phase as we can for a, a, sh a little masterclass here. This is the month of menstruation, right? We've got the four phases. The top right corner there is the menstrual phase. And yes, it's the winter phase. Yes, it's that water phase. It's that deep, dark energy. It's the new moon. And you probably are expecting me to tell you to just take time off and go sleep and relax and be chill. And you can totally do that if you want. But you're missing out on some really good magic. You may also notice that I don't put the dates of these things on here, like day one or day five or anything like that. And that's because it's a very masculine perspective to put dates on these things. And I'm not a huge fan of that. And then here is the same concept with the menstrual phase. We have the same thing. And again, there's no dates on here because there's no real right or wrong. And I don't want you to feel like you're wrong if you're not ovulating on day 14 or something, because that's what you're supposed to do. You've got some ideas. Ideas. There's some things that you can do. You can actually right now, what phase are you in? What can you be doing for your business right now? So it doesn't matter where you are in your cycle. You can do something in tune at the moment. The menstrual phase. Oh, Meredith just said, I'm ovulating and I think I booked two new clients. Yes, that is it. That's that getting some time. Way to go. Yes. We know that the menstrual phase can be really powerful. We saw that Josia had her entire house moved during her menstrual phase while she kicked back and drank tea. So we know that there's real power in this phase. Just takes some planning, right? Our menstrual phase is pretty freaking exciting. And I told you about the way your hem, I want you to keep this in mind, your hemisphere, the synopses are firing the most between the left and the right. That means you've got your creative and your logical brain 
on fire together. The winter of your year, the yin energy, your destructive side. This is what we're underestimating. We know all of the light fluffy stuff, but we are underestimating our destructive potential of the menstrual phase. We as women have this desire to blow shit up from time to time. Not like, you know, boys lighting stuff on fire blow shit up, but like we just want to get rid of crap. Sometimes we just run through the house throwing everything away. We have this destructive side. Exactly. Meredith just said most destructive on our relationships, right? Like we pick a fight for absolutely no reason. We just want to blow some shit up. (laughs) That's because we're denying our destructive side. We're not doing the shadow work. We're not going into the dark side. We're not getting in tune with that destruction. And when we can actually look at it as a productive thing, just like winter, everything dies. We let it go. But it's what it's doing is building the nourishment for spring. And that is exactly what we need to do is we need to get rid of the excess because continuing this excess is just going to cause overwhelm, adrenal fatigue, drainage, burnout. We're going to be done white. So we need that destruction time. We need to get rid of the crap. Here's why the menstrual phase is so important because you have this really cool ability to see the bullshit, to go, this isn't working. This is not connected. This isn't part of the plan. I got super sidetracked here. This isn't what my business is about. I'm doing this because I think it's going to work, but it's really not what I want to do. You start seeing all of these excuses and you can let them go. Let that shit go. That's where the real power of the menstrual phase is. And this is why I really love it when women, even when they're in a great flow and things are going really well, stop and take a look and see, is there anything else that I can get rid of? Can I declutter my inbox? I don't care what it is. Is there something else that can be just destroyed and gotten rid of? Old ties, anything. What can you get rid of? What can you write down and take to the fire and burn? What can you destroy? And this is where you'll see the most consistent, amazing growth in your business because you'll be consistently getting rid of the distractions and you'll be constantly on message, on brand, on tune, doing the stuff that really is part of your cycle. Okay. And the last thing I want to say about the menstrual phase is this is the why phase. I have a system that I teach in YBYF called what would Hermione do? Each letter is a part of the phase. Is why. So it stands for what, why, how, do. But Hermione is just amazing. So I use her. The why is the menstrual phase because we're really good at answering the why question. Why? Why am I doing this? Why is this coming up? Why am I seeing this message over and over again? This is the why phase of your cycle. If you do nothing else and you get nothing else from this masterclass with me, if you just spend a little time in your menstrual phase every month journaling around the question why, I will feel like mission accomplished. Feel free to do that. Love your PMS. Instead of pissed off, moody, and stressed, plan your month strategically. This is how we, again, reframe things that are out there. This is what we're reframing all day today. Just tons of reframing. We're flipping PMS on its head and making it something pretty amazing. And we're going to leave those period problems in the dust. First of all, I want you to know PMS is not normal. It's common. It's not normal. Just because 80% of women suffer from PMS or some kind of period problems does not mean that we should be. Does not mean that that's just part of being a woman. It is not part. It's not a curse. It's not just part of life. It's common, but it's not normal. So I just wanted to put that out there first and foremost. Second of all, tapping into your vision, right? So during your menstrual phase, tap into your vision. What's your life vision? What's your life goal? What are you really working for? And Is that related to your business? Are you connected? Are these two things connecting? And every month during your period, you're specifically suited to do just that. Be logical, be creative, connect the dots. Are you doing that every month? Are you taking that time to connect the dots each month? This is where we were talking about earlier. A lot of YBYF is reprogramming and deprogramming the stuff that we think we're supposed to be doing and the stuff that we think we have to have and really spending some time connecting the dots. So of course joining your business, your flow is an amazing way of reflaming your PMS, of course. Okay. That's a good question. The little phase, which is the phase before your period is actually two weeks. And there's two distinctive hormonal shifts in that phase. There's the crash from ovulation, and then there's another rise of hormones, and then it goes down again. It's during the second rise that we see PMS because this is when we have a hormonal imbalance. This is usually when the estrogen spikes crazy high and it's not supposed to. This estrogen hits and we don't have the progesterone that we need and we end up 
in crazy town. PMS symptoms that we get, and I see this in business women as just like, I need to do a whole new website, or I'm in the wrong target market, or I need a new client avatar, or I need a new certification, or it's like this complete lack of self-esteem or confidence, freak out. So even if it's not mood swings and bloating and the normal PMS symptoms, I see this in business women in their businesses a lot. And this is just that business imbalance. It's that out of wax space. I need a reminder of this freak out systems. I do that. Yeah. In fact, on uh, I have a graphic on my website that is the symptoms of PMS. And, and a couple of those are business symptoms because I see that in business women, probably more often than just like mood swings or fatigue. We have these freak out. Every time someone in business does it, I go, eh, when's your period do? And they're like, oh, you know, like in a week. I'm like, yeah, I know. It's so predictable. It's crazy. That's the difference between premenstrual and the menstrual phase. It's a really good time to wrap stuff up. So instead of, oh, I'm going to redo my entire website today, maybe just wrap up the project you were working on in the first place. <laughs> that's what ends up happening. You spend two weeks now doing some project that's crazy town and then you've lost two weeks of your business life. Okay. So YBYF, your business, your flow, you've gotten some really good examples. You've seen what it can be like on the inside. And that's just the surface of what we were able to do in a masterclass. So I'd like to invite you to join me in YBYF. These are some of the amazing things that you'll be getting in there. We're going to kick off with a one-on-one call. You, me, your hormones, your business. There's no time limit. Ask as many questions as you want. The average on 90 minutes. But like I said, I have no time limit. I put a big buffer on my scheduling so that you got lots of time. <laughs> Uh, We have a private Facebook group, of course. You get the Charting to Clarity and Confidence course. uh, And this is what you'll be doing in September. It's four super short videos. While the early bird ends, and I'm going to extend it for 24 hours for you ladies here on the webinar, but that's it, uh, and watching the replay. The doors close on September 12th. So the sooner you get in there, the more data you can start putting together. So the charting course is there for you to gather data. And then in the end of September, we'll kick off with the quarterly planner. So you'll get my quarterly planner. You'll get the charting book you'll get the course. You'll have all of that time of September to gather the data you need for that. And then our first kickoff call, live group call, will be planning the last quarter of this year so that we can move through it in your business or flow so that we can actually apply as we go because there's no better way to learn than doing. We'll actually be moving through your quarterly planner throughout the last three months of the year in the course and you'll be applying as you learn. And we have live Q and A calls. We'll have content calls. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. In fact, I want you to know that this is not for you. If you want a pill to pop or if you want just something to follow that has no personality or unique to you stuff, this is for anyone who's ready to jump in to have some support, to laugh, hear some ridiculous mom jokes for me and have some fun. And if you're ready to actually take your business to the next level or get into flow, make your life easier and Even if you're in that startup state, doesn't matter. As long as you want to keep adding in, adapting, and trying new things, you're going to have a great time with this. I'm throwing some testimonials up here for you because you don't have to take my word for it, as they say. Uh, But I do have to say, Isabel, she did this through perimenopause. We made her transition as smooth as it possibly could be because we did the same hormonal balance stuff I would do with anyone else with her. We really got that through for her. And she was able to apply this really, really well, even in perimenopause. So don't think that you have to be in like a perfect 28 day rhythm for it to work. The best part about it is that by doing this and working within flow, you will get more of a stable, reliable period. You'll see your patterns and you'll be able to see that energy energy shift. And Katie Gridley, oh my God, she's done this with me. And she's probably one of my biggest cheerleaders in the world. She sends me messages just to tell me how awesome YBYF is. And she's excited for the new girls. Just like out of the clear blue sky. I love her. (laughs) Uh, And then I had to put Tasha's up here because there's nothing like having a six-figure coach testimonial in you completely out of the clear blue sky on uh, Facebook. And then Mitley, who's joined, she's going to be one of the alumni in the group. She just joined. She's doing it again with us. And there's bonuses. 
There's always bonuses. One of them is actually the chocolate bonus. The the woman who makes these is Beth Ann Wanamaker, lives in California. She makes chocolate for women and she does a bonus for us on how to pick chocolate for women. So you can go buy chocolate that's really guilt-free because she tells you what to buy and how to pick. And then we also have a bunch of other bonuses, of course, that are pretty freaking amazing. So uh, this is the early bird. Like I said, it ends tonight at midnight, but I'm going to extend it for those of you on the webinar. Uh, you go to that link there below and you'll have the ability to join for the next 24 hours. That also means you get the extended payment plan. So you see the payment plan there is $133 a month for five months. If you wait to after 24 hours, it goes to four months because you lose August. And so it'll go up to $222 per month for four months. So jump in. Don't freak out because there's a 30-day month, 30 day money back guarantee. And I don't start it when you buy. I have been ripped off that way before. <laughs> It starts when the course starts. <laughs> so you can actually get a full third of the program under your belt, see what's going on, see if it works for you and decide what you want to do. And you'll still get the one hour call with me because that's before we even start. So that's just how confident I am in this program because I know it's awesome and no one's ever asked for their money back, but I want you to feel good. So join our circle. We've already got a woman from uh, Finland. We've got a couple from Australia. We've got a couple from the States in there. We're a worldwide circle. Join into our amazing amazing circle around the world. I've started sending out women who run with wolves as one of your presents for when you join. And I found a place to ship in Australia. So I'm pretty impressed with myself right now. <laughs> so, you know, the sooner you get in, the sooner you get your book and we can get started. Head on over to theperiodcoach.com slash YBYF and jump in. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for coming. As I said, questions, please feel free to ask. I am here to answer them. I'm happy to help. You can throw them up in the Red Circle Lady Business Facebook group. You can email me if it's something that you, you know, like if it's something financial and you want to talk to me about money or whatever, do feel free. Stasha at theperiodcoach.com. Email me. Let me know. I'm here to help. Okay. All right. I love you. I will see you on the inside. Over gang. Over gang. Gang signs. <laughs>